me please be on all of you myself dr majid khan associate professor luknate dr jd power college of pharmacy kalwan nasik i welcome all of you in this lecture 2 of antiviral agent in previous lecture that is in lecture 1 we will already cover we were cover the neuromyelitis inhibitor then reverse transcriptase inhibitor in that nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor now here in lecture 2 we will cover nnrti that is non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor then protease inhibitor and dna polymerase inhibitor learning outcome after completion of this topic student able to draw the structure understand mechanism of action and uses of nnrti then draw the structure understand mechanism of action and uses of protease inhibitor draw the structure understand mechanism of action and uses of dna polymerase inhibitor so in previous video we we were discussed about the reverse transcriptase enzyme so here once again i repeat the function of reverse transcriptase enzyme so this these are the enzyme which convert rna into dna so this conversion require involved two step first step is conversion of rna into complementary rna dna complex and in second step conversion of this complex into the double stranded dna so this for this enzyme is required that is called as reverse transcriptase enzyme this reverse transcriptase enzyme consists of two catalytic site first one is polymerase catalytic site and second one is rnh catalytic site so first step that is conversion of rna into cdna rna complex the polymerase active site of reverse transcriptase enzyme is required and step 2 that is conversion of complex into the dna the rnh active site of reverse transcriptase enzyme is required so in short reverse transcriptase enzyme involved in synthesis of dna from the rna so the drug the name called as reverse transcriptase inhibitor it inhibit this enzyme therefore prevent the synthesis of dna so this reverse transcriptase inhibitor are divided into two types first one is nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor that is nrti which and we will cover we were cover this nrti in previous lecture and second type is nnrti that is non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor so in this video the second type of reverse transcriptase inhibitor that is nnrti non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor so as name indicate non nucleoside means this drug does not having structural similarity with nucleoside previous class that is nrti that is nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor this drug having the structural similarity with dna part that is adenosine guanosine but this type of compound that is nnrti non nucleoside means this drug does not have structural similarity with that dna bases so this nnrti share com common biochemical and pharmacological property this nnrti does not require bioactivation by thymidine kinase to yield phosphate ester they are not incorporated into growing dna chain instead they bind to allosteric binding site that is different from the substrate binding site for reverse transcriptase this inhibitor can combine with either free or substrate bound enzyme interfering the action of both such binding distort the enzyme so that it cannot form enzyme substrate complex at its normal rate and once formed the complex does not decompose at normal rate to yield the product increasing the substrate concentration does not reverse this effect hence nnrti exhibit classical non competitive inhibition pattern with enzyme nnrti inhibit reverse transcriptase selectively selectively they do not inhibit reverse transcriptase of hiv2 but inhibit the reverse transcriptase of hiv1 
these drugs have high therapeutic index and do not inhibit mammalian dna polymerase NRTI and NNRTI are expected to exhibit synergistic effect on HIV because they interact with different mechanism of same enzyme. So this table shows the difference between NRTI and NNRTI. So NRTI and this one is NNRTI. So here we see the difference. So in case of previous class that is NRTI it having a structural similarity with nucleoside but this drug does not having the structural similarity with nucleoside base second difference that this drug require bioactivation that is this drug converted into triphosphate analog but this drug not converted into triphosphate it does not require any bioactivation third difference nrti incorporated into growing dna but it does not incorporated into growing dna then nrti bind to nucleoside triphosphate binding site so nrti drug inhibitor drug bind to the nucleoside triphosphate binding site on that enzyme but this drug binding site is different that is the main difference between these two this nrti bind to the site where the normal substrate bind but in case of NNRTI the binding site of this drug is different from the normal binding site so that is called as allosteric binding site so allosteric binding site it is a different binding site normally substrate not bind to on that allosteric binding site so NRTI bind to the site where the normal substrate bind but NRTI bind to the site where the normal substrate not bind next different bind to free or substrate bound enzyme so this drug inhibit the reverse transcripted enzyme when it is free or it also inhibit the enzyme when it is bound to normal substrate but in case of NNRTI, it binds to free or substrate bound enzyme. So these, these also have same effect. Then it is a competitive in nature inhibition. Competitive means when the con it is depend upon the concentration. So here the enzyme is one reverse transcriptase, but the substrate is two. That is a normal substrate and drug. So here the inhibition is based depend upon the concentration but here it is not depend upon the concentration therefore it is called as non-competitive inhibition then this type of drug distort the enzyme that it cannot bind with normal substrate means this drug bind to the reverse transcriptor enzyme and destroy the distort this enzyme so that it does not bind to normal substrate next point it have high therapeutic index means it is safe as compared to nrti then this NRT, nnrti binds selectively to the reverse transcripted enzyme of hiv2 but <clears throat> but it inhibit the reverse transcriptor of enzyme of hiv1 so this nnrti inhibit the reverse transcriptor enzyme of hiv1 but not inhibit the reverse transcriptor enzyme of hiv2 so in short these two classes bind on act on same enzyme but binding site is different so therefore if we give these two drug in combination it gives synergistic effect so these all NRTI and NNRTI act on same enzyme that is reverse transcriptase enzyme and inhibit this enzyme and therefore prevent the synthesis of DNA. So here there is a small video how these drugs act.
such as HIV-1 is transcribed. It is a human dialect with a P-51 subunit and a P-66 subunit. The P-66 subunit contains a finger, a palm, and a thumb region, resembling a cup hand. Reverse transcriptase has two catalytic domains. Here is the ribonucleus H. Here, single stranded viral RNA is transcribed into a RNA DNA polymerase. Ribonuclease H breaks down the RNA. The polymerase then completes the remaining DNA strand to form a DNA double helix. This full viral DNA contains the genetic material HIV1. Therapeutic suppression of viral replication slows down the decline of cell wall cells and disease progression. Neuroticide reverse transcriptase inhibitors, NRTIs, inhibit the polymerase active site. After metabolism to non functional nucleotides, their nucleation causes chain termination. The dinucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, NRTIs, form another class of retroviral agents. They inhibit reverse transcriptase by reducing its conformational flexibility. Now the important drug of NNRTI category, first one is nevirapine, so it is the structure of nevirapine. It is used in adult and in children 6 year of age infected with HIV-1 as a part of combination antiretroviral treatment. Nevirapine in triple combination therapy has been shown to suppress viral load effectively when used as an initial antiretroviral therapy. A single dose of nevirapine given to both mother and child reduce the rate of HIV transmission by almost 50% compared with very short course of zidodine. Unlike nucleoside RTIs which bind the polymerase active site, NNRTIs bind to hydrophobic pocket in subdomain of P66 which is about 10 angstrom away from the active site. So as we seen in difference, the active site of uh, NNRTI is different from the NRTI drugs. So therefore, this NNRTI binding pocket will inhibit the reverse transcription in a way that is distinct to the NRTI's drug. Next drug that is Delaveridine. So the structure, so its reverse transcription inhibitor activity is specific for HIV-1. The FDA has approved this drug in combination with other anti-HIV agent. Promising results were obtained when these drugs are used with DDI, dedenosine, DDC, that is lamudine or zidodine. This drug directly inhibits reverse transcriptase and DNA directed DNA polymerase activity of HIV-1. After formation of enzyme substrate complex, thereby causing chain termination effect. The next drug that is ifavirenes. It is a new drug approved by FDA. In combination with endenavir, it reduces concentration of endenavir by approximate 35% and increase in CD4 plus cell count. So it is a T helper cell which, which, which is important in HIV infection. The concentration of CD4 plus T helper cell help in curing of AIDS or HIV. Therefore, this drug increases the CD4 plus cell count.
It is administered once a day and can be used as a substitute for indinavir in combination therapy with standard drugs such as zidodine. In current cocktail therapy of AIDS patient, ifavirenz is a good option for reducing many side effects. The next drug of this, uh, this uh, chapter is protease inhibitor. So it is a, another class that is protease inhibitor. So here the enzyme is chained that is protease enzyme. It is a viral enzyme also called as peptidase or proteinase. It is a trypsin that catalyzes proteolysis that is breakdown of protein into smaller polypeptide or single amino acid. They do this by cleaving peptide bond. Mm, peptide bond or single amino acid. And by cleaving the peptide bond within the protein by hydrolysis, a reaction what where water break bonds proteas are involved in many biological function including digestion of ingested protein protein catabolism and cell signaling so the enzyme protease it is involved in formation of a small amino acid molecule from the large polypeptide and this protein small protein molecule is important for synthesis of various enzyme of viruses or new viruses so in short protease enzyme is an enzyme in virus which catalyzes the proteolysis that is breakdown of protein into a small molecule of single amino acid and this small molecule of amino acid is required for synthesis of various important enzyme of viruses so how this protease enzyme break down the protein into a small amino acid so there are two steps so it is a reaction so here it is a peptide that is large protein it is a water molecule and it is a part of protease enzyme that is <coughs> aspergin so here two type aspergin asp25 and here is asp25 dash so this aspergin is a part of protease enzyme this one is water molecule and it is a protein which we have to break so it involves two step so in step one substrate that is big protein bind to enzyme here is aspergin 25 and aspergin 25 dash and form a enzyme substrate complex a water molecule attack the substrate carbonyl carbon in transition state aspergin 25 transfer a proton to substrate oxygen and aspergin 25 dash accept the proton from the water so here in step 1 this aspergin 25 transfer this proton to protein large protein molecule and the and this water hydrogen is abstract by the aspergin 25 of enzyme so it is a transition state ts state now in step 2 breaking of cn bond so here there is a breaking of cn bond to form final product that is amine and carboxylic acid so here the final product is amine and carboxylic acid in this step aspergin 25 dash donate proton to intermediate amine group and aspergin 25 accept proton from the hydroxyl group of intermediate this reaction yield free enzyme and again cycle is repeated hiv protease enzyme is essential for viral growth and it is responsible for post translation medication of core protein into structural protein so it is a reaction by which protein is converted into a small molecule of protein that is a small molecule of protein enzyme required is protease so in step one there is abstraction and there is a uh, this hydrogen from aspartin 25 is abstract by protein molecule and this hydrogen of water molecule is abstract by 
as per June 25 dash so it, it is a transition state then step 2 there is a breaking of this CN bond so here this bond is break so here again this H is transfer here and this H is transfer here and there is a breaking of this bond to form the final product that is acid and amine and then this enzyme is again separated so it is a reaction how protease enzyme convert protein into small amino acids so this drug as name indicate protease inhibitor so this drug inhibit this enzyme and therefore prevent the conversion of protein into small amino acid and therefore prevent the formation of important enzyme in virus example of this category first one is sequinavir so it is a structure of sequinavir it is used together with other medication to treat or prevent hiv or aids Typically, it is used with retinavir or lupinavir to increase its effect. It is taken by mouth. Triple therapy with sequinavir, DDC means deducing, and zidodine has been more effective than more effective than double therapy with sequinavir and zidodine. It elevates CD4 count and exert synergistic effect when combined with reverse transcriptase inhibitor second drug retonavir it is an antiretroviral medication used along with other medication to treat hiv or aids this combination treatment is known as highly active anti retroviral therapy that is h a a r t highly active anti retroviral therapy it may also being used in combination with other medication for hepat hepatitis C. It is taken by mouth. The capsule of medication do not work the same as the tablet. Next drug, Indenavir. It is a soluble white powder administered orally in combination with other antiviral drugs. The drug prevents protease from functioning normally. Indenavir does not cure HIV or AIDS, but it can extend the length of length of person life for several years by slowing the progression of the disease. Commercially available capsule should be stored at 15 to 30 degrees Celsius. It should be kept in tight container so that it is kept away from the moisture. Therefore, it is advised that the user should keep the pills in a manufacturer provided bottle and do not remove the desiccant next drug tipranavir it is administered with retinavir in combination therapy for to treat hiv infection tipranavir has the ability to inhibit the replication of viruses that are resistance to other protease inhibitor and it is recommended for patients who are resistance to other treatment Next drug of this category, it is Anavir. It is also used in treatment of HIV. So it is some important drug as a protease inhibitor. Now on our last category that is T DNA polymerase inhibitor. So again here the enzyme is changed. The enzyme here is DNA polymerase. So DNA polymerase is the enzyme that synthesizes DNA molecule from deoxyribonucleotide which are the building block of DNA. The enzyme play an essential role in DNA replication usually working in pair to produce two matching DNA stages from single DNA molecule. DNA polymerase creates two new strands that are identical to those that already exist. DNA polymerase add nucleotide to the three prime end of DNA strand, one nucleotide at a time. When the cell divide, DNA polymerases are needed so that cells DNA can duplicate. It allow a copy of original DNA molecule to be passed to each new cell. The pairing are always same with cytosine together with guanine, thymine together with adenine. So DNA polymerase enzyme is the enzyme which is important for DNA synthesis. So this enzyme form the DNA with, with the help of DNA bases. So as we know the DNA bases, guanine, adenine, thymine, cytosine, these are the bases. So this enzyme uses these bases and form the DNA.
so dna polymerase inhibitor so these are the drug which inhibit the dna polymerase enzyme it is a nucleoside analog a modified form of deoxyuridine so these drug also have the structural similarity with normal basis of dna like a, a first category as we seen that is nrti so here also the drug of this category having the structural similarity with normal basis the first drug of this category is adoxyuridine so it is analog nucleoside analog modified form of deoxyuridine similar enough to be incorporated into viral dna replication but the iodine atom added to the uracil component block base pairing this drug enters the cell and phosphorylated by thymidine kinase to yield monophosphate to di and triphosphate then this triphosphate is bleeped to both substrate and inhibitor of viral dna polymerase causing inhibition of viral dna synthesis and facilitating the synthesis of dna that contain iodinated pyrimidine the altered dna is more susceptible to breakage leads to faulty transcription initially developed as an anti cancer drug adoxyuridine become the first antiviral agent in 1962 adoxyuridine is available as a either 0.5% ophthalmic ointment or as a 0.1% ophthalmic solution adoxyuridine is mainly used topically to treat herpes simplex keratitis it is used only topically due to cardiotoxicity so adoxyuridine having the structural similarity with uracil instead it having the iodine so again it is converted into their active form that is in triphosphate after phosphorylation and then it is entered into the dna formation and for, form the faulty dna which is susceptible to breakage the next example cytarimine so this drug is also uh, we will uh, we studied in anti cancer cytarimine so cytarimine also known as cytosine arabinoside that is called as arac it is chemotherapy medication used to treat myeloid leukemia that is anti cancer cytarimine also possesses antiviral activity so here there is a arabino sugar in this drug arabino sugar but in case of dna basis it is a ribo sugar so it is having the structural similarity with cytosine but the difference only is it contain arabino sugar cytosine contain ribose sugar so it is an anti cancer drug but it also having the antiviral activity it is used for the treatment of generalized herpes virus infection however cytarabine is not very selective in this setting and causes bone marrow suppression and other severe side effect cytosine arabinoside is similar enough to human deoxycytosine to be incorporated into human dna but different enough that it kill the cell cytosine arabinoside interfere with the synthesis of dna its mode of action is due to its rapid conversion into cytosine arabinoside triphosphate which damage dna when the cell cycle fold in the s phase that is synthesis of dna cytosine arabinoside also inhibit both dna rna polymerase and nucleotide reductase enzyme needed for dna synthesis the next drug is a cyclovir so it is a also two contrast to two nucleoside that have ribose or deoxy ribose sugar attached to purine base but in case of cyclovir open chain sugar is attached to purine base so here instead of sugar there is a chain is attached in case of a cyclovir so the a cyclovir viral dna thymidine kinase is about 200 times that of corresponding mammalian enzyme so affinity of this drug for the thymidine kinase enzyme is more as compared to normal substrate thymidine kinase enzyme in infected cell catalyzes the conversion of a cyclovir to triphosphate or cyclovir then this triphosphate a cyclovir compete for the endogenous deoxyguanosine triphosphate hence it competitively inhibit viral dna polymerase because this drug has three hydroxyl group on 
थ्री हाइड्रो थ्री डैच हाइड्रोक्सिल ग्रुप नो थ्री डैच फाइव डैच फॉस्फर स्टर बॉन्ड फॉर्म सो दिस ड्रग ऑल्सो दिंग द स्ट्रक्चरल सिमिलरिटी विथ डी एन ए बेसिस सो दिस ड्रग अंडर गो द एक्टिवेशन प्रोसेस दैट इज फॉस्फोरिलेक्शन एंड कन्वर्टेड इन टू ट्राई फॉस्फेट एन अलॉग एंड देर फोर इट इंटर इन टू दी डी एन ए सिंथिस प्रोसेस एंड इन विट दी डी एन ए फॉर्मेशन सो हियर ऑन थर्ड पोजिशन देर इज हाइड्रोक्सिल ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट सो इट डज नॉट देर इज अ डिस्टर्बेंसेस इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फॉस्फो स्टर बॉन्ड by this way it act as a antiviral it is used for treatment of herpes simplex virus infection chicken pox and shing shingles infection it is a one type of virus infection other used include prevention of cytomegaly glow virus infection following transplant when when there is any transplant that is organ transplant there is a chances of one infection called as cytomegaly gallo virus infection so for this purpose it is also used it can be taken by mouth applied as a cream or injection then last drug of this category that is dna polymerase inhibitor is vidarabine vidarabine work by interfering with the synthesis of viral dna it is a nucleoside analog and therefore has to be phosphorylated to be active This is a three-step process in which vidarabine is phosphorylated by kinase enzyme to the triphosphate triphosphate vidarabine ATP. This is active form of vidarabine and in both an inhibitor and substrate of viral DNA polymerases. When used as a substrate for viral DNA polymerase, vidarabine competitively inhibit. deoxy atp leading to formation of faulty dna this is where era atp that is arabinoside so it also contain arabinoside therefore ara is used era vidarabine is incorporated into dna strand replacing many of the adenosine bases this result in prevention of dna synthesis as a phosphodiester bridge cannot longer be built destabilizing the strand vidarabine is an antiviral active against herpes herpes viruses pox viruses and some rna tumor viruses a 30% ophthalmic ointment vira, vira a is used in treatment of acute keratoconjunctivitis that is infection of eye and a recurrent superficial keratitis caused by hsv and hsv2 virus vidarabine also used to treat herpes zoster in aids patient so this drug is also analog of adenosine having arabinoid sugar so this drug also required bioactivation that is it is converted into triphosphate analog and therefore enter in dna protein synthesis and inhibit the dna synthesis so these are the example of dna polymerase inhibitor so in antiviral therapy the important class is neuramidase inhibitor then nrti then nnrti then protease inhibitor and this one is dna polymerase inhibitor so it is about the antiviral drug so if you like the video then subscribe the channel thank you thank you very much